and welcome to my kitchen. Um, we're going to use some of that apple butter we made yesterday and we're going to make an apple butter pie. I just was researching this not too long ago. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know if it's kind of out of necessity or kind of a, you know, necessity is the mother of invention kind of thing. But it's a southern, midwestern kind of deal. And the apple butter pie is very much like the same concept as a pumpkin pie or a sweet potato pie. We're going to make custard, but in place of those other things, we're going to use the apple butter. So this is how we're going to do it. I already have a pie crust ready to go. And if you want my recipe for pie crust, all you have to do is go to the grocery store and get a Pillsbury one because that's what that is. Um, I don't do pie crust. I suck at it. You know, we can't all be good at everything. So that's that's the way it is and don't tell me how easy it is to make pie crust because it doesn't matter how many times I try I can't do it um, so my hands are too hot my hands are too hot yes that's probably what it is Cheers. I know okay so this is a pint of apple butter and it should be two cups um, it's probably just a little bit under that but I have a jar in reserve over here, so there's one cup. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is called when you leave it on the counter, the family comes along. And I didn't touch it. I know you did it, but that's okay. We've got lots. This spatula is almost too big to fit in there. Well, for heaven's sake, this is the spoon I use from brown sugar. That ill, that's good. Alright, so we've got two cups of apple butter. Boy, that was a project, wasn't it? Alright. The rest should be easy because I measured everything out already. Okay, I've got a tablespoon of flour and a half a tablespoon of salt. A half of a stick of butter, that's four tablespoons melted. A half a cup of cream. In place of, if you don't want to use the cream, I guess you could substitute a stick of butter, which typically, you know, in an apple pie or in a pumpkin pie rather, that would be the case. And then this is four eggs, lightly beaten. And I'm just going to get all this goodness off my spatula. And we're going to blend this up. I want that in a minute. No need to get out the mixer. You just need a whisk. And get this well incorporated. We're making a custard. Now, you're going to see other versions of apple butter pie maybe, I don't know, um, but I thought it might be fun. I've seen some where they actually put a crust on the top. Um, I, I don't think that, that I like that idea, so I'm going to put a streusel topping on this pie because I think that sounds pretty good. I love a streusel topping on my pumpkin pie, so why not try it on apple butter pie, part of my reach. And then we're just going to go ahead and pour this right in the pie shell. And I have to do this way. All right, that's that. I'll set this aside and I'll grab everything I need for my streusel, which I have ready and waiting in the fridge because you want to keep streusel stuff really, really cold. All right, what I have here is a stick of butter and you want to keep that cold. I have, what are you laughing at? Oh, you're funny. Two thirds of a cup of flour, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of apple pie spice. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take this cold butter, hello, and we're going to cut it into pieces. And then we're going to make our streusel. And all you need to do that is a pastry cutter or two knives. 
or a fork. You know, whatever gets the job done for you. Hmm? Break this up in there. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees and I have moved my top rack to the middle of the oven so that the pie will bake evenly. I'm not going to put the pie on a tray, I'm just going to put it on the rack in the middle of the oven. And that one doesn't want to, there we go. Here we go. Get all this butter in there. And this streusel is an excellent recipe for lots of things. You could do this on a pumpkin pie, on an apple pie, on a peach pie. You could put this on this apple butter pie. You could put it on muffins. You could put it on top of a cake mix and call it coffee cake. And nobody will ever be the wiser. And it will be lovely, I promise. Streusel is super easy and super delicious. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to get this all mixed up in there and we're going to go at it with our pastry blender. And cut that butter into that sugar and into that flour. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, honey, go ahead and say it. You need a bigger bowl. You need a bigger bowl. He loves doing that. And then sometimes you're going to have to stop and you're going to have to clear, clean out your pastry cutter just a little. And when you make your streusel, before you throw your butter in there, give everything a good stir. Mine will be fine. You want your butter to be cold because you want this to form little pea-sized chunks that are incorporated with butter, flour, sugar, and brown sugar. Now, when you put this on top of your pie, what's going to happen is when you bake it, that butter is going to melt, but the sugar that is surrounding the butter is going to melt first. And that butter is going to, they're going to create this lovely little crystallization. And the flour that's come to the party is going to seize up and it's going to become this lovely little crunchy topping. Okay. We're almost there. It's almost looking the way I want it to look. You're going to be able to tell because everything's going to look like it's incorporated. You don't see any like loose flour running around in there. And when you pick it up, it creates a chunk but it breaks up easily and you can get your fingers in there like this and you see there's some big pieces and there's some fine pieces and that's exactly how you want it. The biggest thing is here. Oh, I see her. <laughs> Let me wipe this away. Back in the bowl. Okay. Here comes our pie. You may not need all of this. I'm going to give it a good topping of it though. Bring it out to the edges. Now, all we have, we have quite a bit of streusel left. You can just put that in a Ziploc bag or in a mason jar and put it in the freezer. The next time you make a batch of muffins or a banana bread or something, take that out, sprinkle it on top. Don't waste anything. All right. We're gonna carefully take our pie. Put it in our oven, 350 degrees for one hour. When this is ready to come out, we'll be back. Okay, our pie is ready. The timer just went off. It has been in here for an hour, and I did put a pie shield on the crust about 20 minutes in. Now, you see how it's ever so slightly jiggly. That is exactly how you want it. And I have to tell you how amazing it smells. And it looks beautiful. Now, you need 
need this to cool completely before you cut into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I expect nothing less from you, honey. So once this is cooled, we're going to cut into it and we'll serve you a slice with some whipped cream and we'll be back when it's time to do that. <clears throat> it's time to get some ice cream too. Our pie is cool and it is afternoon and we're going to serve you, it's like tea time, so we're going to serve you a slice of this pie. It's pretty. Look at that. All right, I'm with the camera over here. So look at that. <laughs> but look at that. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. All right, so we Rick would prefer his with ice cream, but I'm not going to have ice cream, and this is actually going to be my lunch. And I'm going to use an aerosol can of whipped cream, and whoever left a comment on my Texas sheet cake video where they condemned me for using whipped cream out of an aerosol can, I'm sorry. When you make yours, you can use whatever kind of whipped cream that you make yourself, but... You know what? This is pure whipped cream, and sometimes you've got to take a shortcut. Sometimes it's okay. That's absolutely right. So, I don't care. All right, there you have it. I'm going to take a taste of this because I want to, and I'm going to give Rick a taste of it. I was hoping you would. I'm going to give you the coveted point piece here. Oh, wow. Is it good? That's better than apple pie. Is it? Mm -hmm. is oh my really goodness. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, try it. You must try this pie. It is incredible. Oh, okay. You can show me. That is an amazing pie. I've never made that before. And I have to tell you, it is delicious. So, for all you people out there who are making apple um, butter, make sure that you save some out to make this pie with because it's fantastic. In fact, it's so fantastic, I may have to make an extra batch of apple butter just so I have pints of apple butter to make this with. It's fabulous. So, apple butter pie, who'd have thought? I hope you try it, I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya.